Hi, I'm Kamari Martinez. And I'm Andrew Soriano. Welcome back to Braddock TV. This week we decided to highlight one of the programs that makes Braddock stand out. Here's Vanessa with this week's Spotlight. Hey Bulldogs, it's that time of year again. Christmas is near. To celebrate, Braddock is throwing its annual Sped Holiday Party. Let's go check it out. So the purpose of this event is to bring joy to the students of the school, to really give them the experiences of the holiday season and let them just have fun and, and cut loose a little bit. I feel super happy that I have the opportunity to be taking part of this event. Not only do I get to see a smile on the special needs kids, but this just brings joy to the season and joy to my heart. With this time of year being quite hectic, many times we lose sight of what really matters. That is what this event is all about. The holiday season is about joy, laughter, and spending time with the special people in our lives. This has been Vanessa Bonilla with Braddock TV. Our athletes have been very active lately from competing against one of our biggest rivals to wrestling matches. Here's Holly with this week's sports. On Thursday, December 6, 2018, our very own Braddock basketball teams went head-to-head -head with the Ferguson Falcons. The game included a special performance by our Gems dancers and featured Victoria Paredes singing the national anthem. Braddock Junior Varsity lost while Varsity won 48-40. On Friday, December 7th, and Saturday, December 8th, our Braddock wrestling team went against eight teams, placing in fourth. On Monday, students can wear their seasonal colors. Freshmen can wear green, sophomores can wear blue, juniors can wear red, and seniors can wear white. Tuesday students can come dressed up as holiday characters. Freshmen can come as elves. Sophomores can come as candy canes. Juniors can come as reindeer. And seniors can come dressed up as Santa Claus. On Wednesday students can wear their knee-high ugly Christmas socks. Thursday is Family Portrait Day. Students may wear a flannel. On Friday is Ugly Sweater Day. As Braddock gets into the holiday spirit, we want to see how many of our Bulldogs are familiar with some Christmas trivia. Here's Lucas with questions for a candy cane. Hey guys, I'm Elf Jr. and I'm here to see if Braddock has their Christmas spirit. Excuse me. Can you ask me a question? Can you can you can answer the can you can you answer the question? You'll get a free candy cane if you get it right. What are three of Santa's reindeers? Name me three. Rudolph, Rudolph, Cupid, and Comet, Donnie. Comet, Comet. Oh, no, Comet, yeah, yeah, you got it right. That's good. Thanks, good. There you go. Thank you. No problem. Right here, right here. We got, we got one. We got one. Monica, Monica. Can you ask me one question? No. 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 Come on, come on. Who, who is the famous person that says "Bah humbug"? Who's the famous guy? You. Mr. Soriano, can you sing me and name me a Christmas song? No. Uh, holy night. Come on, come on. All is calm. All is bright. Um, uh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire inside is delightful. Right. So if there's no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Alright, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. This has been Elf Jr. for BTV. Typically at the end of the year, people come together to celebrate. But this year, we come together for more tragic reasons. Here's Oscar with World News. On November 30th, former President George H.W. Bush and father to former Florida Governor Jeb Bush and the 43rd President of the United States, George W. Bush, died at his home in Houston. Bush suffered from vascular Parkinsonism, 
which caused him to use either a wheelchair or a scooter since 2012. He was laid to rest next to his wife Barbara, who died eight months ago in April, and his daughter Robin, who died in 1953 from leukemia. His funeral was attended by former presidents Jimmy Carter, his successor Bill Clinton, his son George W. Bush, Barack Obama, and current president Donald Trump. He became the 12th U.S. president to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol. His legacy was a staggering one from ending communism for the most part around the world to leading the movement that led to the fall of the Gibraltar Wall in Germany. What started on November 17th were a series of protests and demonstrations by the labor unions and workers who call themselves the Yellow Vest Movement, or the Yellow Vests for short, have led to four deaths and a thousand injuries to civilians, and over 4,000 arrests with more than 2,300 of them coming from December 8th alone. Braddock's own French teacher, Mr. Jaramillo, explains the causes of these protests. We have the Gilet Jaune, which is Yellow Vest Movement. They have been rioting. Uh, there have been a lot of arrests and uh, they are basically unhappy with uh, the president Emmanuel Macron with the, uh, rise, the raising of the taxes and the prices for gas, diesel fuel. Uh, it's very expensive and uh, right now they're getting more complaints and more things are coming up like unemployment and things like that. So uh, the French are very upset. They've been rioting in Paris. They take advantage of the situation and the hoodlums, you know, do break-ins and uh, cause a lot of damage to the city. And so here we're going to get a chance to interview some of my students because we have had some current events and they're well aware of what's going on with the Gilets Jaunes, which is the Yellow Vest movement that is taking place in Paris and throughout all of France, by the way. I think what the, the Yellow Vest movement in France, in France is going on, it's a good idea because obviously the people have an issue with um, the way things are going and the government's not listening, so they're going to bring it to the government's attention. And this is just one of the many forms they can do that. I support them. These protests led the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, to leave the G20 summit in Argentina early to come back and work out a deal with the workers and the labor unions. They have come up with the cancellation of the imposed gas tax and a six-month moratorium or stoppage on diesel and gasoline price changes by the French government. Our Bulldogs have been quite busy recently around the school. Here's Eileen with the recap. On Friday, November 16th, students from Ms. McCormick's class and yearbook attended the team press conference in downtown Miami, where a panel of authors read snippets and answered questions regarding their books. The book fair had stands ranging from Spanish literature to comic books for students of all ages to enjoy. This past Tuesday, ASL students performed Christmas songs for students at Coral Park Elementary School as well as for adults at a special needs facility. The ASL students brought lots of holiday spirit and cheer to everyone that was there. Here at Braddock TV, we wish you and your family a happy holidays. And remember to make it happen with, with Braddock, Braddock TV. TV.